We got a little townhouse down in the off of I-10, just a little bit down, and I'm just gonna walk you around and show you some of the common problems that I find on these homes. All right, let's go check it out. So right here we have what is called ASB adhered stone veneer and this product right here is installed exactly like stucco and this is actually manufactured adhered manufactured stone veneer and you can tell by looking at the end pieces where you can see several rocks were put together and you can see that they're actual panels so these are little panels of rocks here and underneath it is re required to have a weep screed. They put this little metal piece of flashing, but you actually need a weep screed because it's installed exactly like stucco. Next call out is right here, we are looking at stucco and stucco needs a, a path to drain. So you can see right here, there is no weep screed on the base of the stucco. And yes, I forgot my laser pointer today. I'm sorry. Right here, you can see where the light fixtures aren't flush with the wall and they need to readjust the junction boxes because this is a potential water leak and it looks a little sloppy. You can see how that light's kind of just dangling there. Also, I'm gonna have to look this one up, but I believe these panels are installed exactly like fiber cement board and you need overhead flashing and block flashing for penetration points. The next spot over here is with the panels and you can see how the panels aren't, the board's not cut up cut very well and uh, this is a possible water penetration point so we need to reseal this or replace the panel the next piece are these trim boards and you can see how there is no overhead flashing anytime that you have a trim piece here and it goes straight up and there's nothing above it it is required to have overhead flashing on it a lot of builders do not do this and they say it's not general practice but the manufacturer requires it very common on new build homes, uh, they don't replace the filters before they get ready to sell. And so this actually gets a lot of sheet rock into the AC system. So I commonly would recommend to have the HVAC service before you move in, even from a builder. Common find in all homes, not just, not just new build inspections, but you can see here uh, the drain is leaking in this cabinet and then we had a drain leaking in the not a drain we actually had the the shutoff leaking in the master bathroom pretty good looking bathroom uh, we did fill this shower pan up we haven't shot the FLIR underneath it or the thermal imaging camera so we'll get that out here in a minute but this is where we found the water leak in the master bathroom we always like to try to clean upper leaks i'm actually going to leave this towel there because there is a slow drip coming out of the hot water shut off so right here this looks kind of a, a questionable spot but if you follow it it looks like it's the duct work so what we'll do is we'll test it with the heater as well so if this changes colors you know it's the duct work so scan in here with the infrared camera underneath the master shower and we're not really seeing any signs of moisture coming through with the infrared camera. Another really good find, we check every single outlet in the property and we found a wall with uh, no power in it. The last phase of the inspection, we always like to fire up the heaters and uh, we will write the report here and you can see the kitchen is completely shut down now and now all we have to do is focus on the report and if we have anything that we may have missed, we know and to go knock it out right then and there. So that's it. That's all we really found on this one. Not too many things, but we do find stuff even on brand new builds. So if you are buying a new brand new build or if you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and please always like, subscribe and share the videos. Thanks guys. Bye.